Hey there YouTube, this is SGM4306 and I've been away from home for a while as you can see by the small and by small I mean massive pile of uh, packages that have been, you know, kind of waiting here for me. So let's just do a massive, you know, uh, mail opening extravaganza, okay? Let me uh, just clear this table off. Okay, first up is this tiny little package and does it okay 12 millimeter 12 volts uh, 2 amps uh, my my dad actually opened up some of these so some of these are open some of these are not and it is one of these uh, oh that's neat they actually added a little resistor it's a uh, power switch and this uh, may or may not be going on my little arcade uh, console that I'm building the uh, tabletop arcade oh the actions okay not very smooth but it'll work and it has a uh, you know, a light on the front. I believe I got the red one. Uh, does it say? It just says LED. It, it might say it in Chinese, but I, I don't know how to read that. Anyway, uh, this is one of these momentary switches, uh, like an anti vandal. So you screw it on. There's a uh, screw on the back. There's actually an O seal. And oh, yeah, here's actually the screw. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so just drill a hole, and I can insert this, use this as the main power switch on my Raspberry Pi, and have the light light up. And so two of these wires uh, are marked positive and negative, the top and the bottom. And these two are the actual contacts on either side, left and right. So that'll definitely come in handy. And that's nice that they also include a little resistor there. Um, so that's the first one. Next up is let's see where does it toy times one okay uh don't know where my knife is i'm still unpacking so i'm gonna have to just use a razor blade and just be very careful and ah okay yeah this is something that i am also using for my arcade actually a lot of these parts are for my arcade project uh this guy is a Arduino clone and it's a uh, 328p uh, let's see uh, I believe it's what 16 megs or 20 megs whatever on the crystal and these just have easy to solder to little uh, headers that you just insert and solder and the the uh, PCB that I designed which is hopefully in this pile somewhere will actually just slot right in there and so that will definitely be useful so let me just put that back into uh, to protect it way I'm actually going to program this is actually an F, uh, not an FTDI. It's a uh, ICSP six pin port on here. So all I have to do is um, hook this up to my other Arduino, which can be used as a programmer and program my special magical firmware onto it. And it'll be good to go. And this will actually be used uh, with my arcade project for controlling the um, RGB buttons and whatnot. So let's just put that back in there. Next up, electrical components. I have no idea what this is. Is this an empty bag? <laughs> this must be tiny because I can't see what is actually in here. What in the world? Ah, okay, this is also for my arcade project. It is... If I can get the tape up on it, there we go. It is these uh, WS2812 uh, serially controlled RGB LEDs, and I just bought a strip of uh, apparently eight of them. Uh, I have to double check that. I might have ordered ten. Maybe they shortchanged me. I have to double check that, though. I've ordered so much stuff, so I can't even remember. Anyway, get this out of the way. And yeah, these are just, uh, they just need power ground and then serial data in and serial data out. So you can chain these in a long chain and you only have three wires in to control, I think something like 128 LEDs up to or some, some crazy number that I'll never use. So these will actually go inside the arcade buttons, which I believe are also somewhere in this massive pile of mail. So let's uh, try to find those. Okay, here, this is actually well marked. And these I will actually use for the uh, the I/O terminal blocks on the project that the arcade cabinet PCB that I'm making, uh, just to make it easy to take apart. Yeah, they're just these standard uh, screw terminal ones. These were very cheap. I think less than a dollar. So definitely be using these. Only need like 
two or three of them, but I thought, you know, why the heck not order more? This guy, once again, toy LED. Uh, okay, whatever that means. Ah, so these are two of, I ordered, ended up ordering eight because I have eight arcade buttons. And, oh yeah, these come with tons and tons of accessories. Ah, and they actually threw in another free switch. <laughs> so, for some reason, I got two switches in here, so. I probably will end up using, I don't know, I'll see, the, the arcade, um, iPad arcade thing that I ended up buying was, um, the buttons are kind of loud, so I may or may not, um, end up using these. These are very stiff, wow. Um, I'm hoping these are the right diameter. These might be a little bit smaller, which would be kind of unfortunate. Um, these might actually be the wrong size, so I might have to actually uh, print some kind of adapter plate or something like that, unfortunately. I hope not, but that might be the case. Yeah, this is kind of quieter than the other ones, actually, and stiffer. So I don't know. I might try these out for size and see how that all works out. Yeah, looks like it comes with uh, an LED, a white LED I opted for, but I'm going to remove this or cut this down and mount the RGB LEDs. So yeah, um, it looks like actually there's some kind of, some kind of adapter or something. That, that's weird. Don't know what that's for. Oh, maybe for adding some thickness or something onto there. Anyway, yeah, these actually do, now that I look at them, look quite a bit smaller than the uh, the ones on the arcade that I have right now. So I might end up having to 3D print a ring to, to increase the diameter so it fits properly. I have pretty small hands, so these are actually okay in terms of diameter for me. Um, but as I said, they're not going to exactly be dropping, unfortunately, it looks like, for the arcade system that I'm, I'm working on. Next up... Ah, uh, these are probably the same thing. So these are the other pack of, uh, of six. Yep. So these are the rest of them. So I got eight in total, and they were pretty cheap. I think they were about, I want to say something like a dollar each. And this package I will save for last. Let's see. Here we have module something, something, something or another. No idea. So... Ah, okay, these are uh, little wires. Um, I breadboard a lot of my electronics for testing, and sometimes it helps to have these extension wires. It's uh, male to female, so that you can essentially plug a wire into a breadboard and extend the wire. So I just bought a handful of these because it would be useful. Next one, this guy, uh, Y100, I don't even know what the heck this is. Y100 was a radio station that um, I don't, think are around anymore unfortunately because they were awesome so let's just open this up and foam I ordered a block of foam no I, I think I know what these are flip this over and there's tape on the ends huh these are not what I thought they were <laughs> why I guess they're well protected. That is really weird. They sent it in a huge package and then foam as if these were really sensitive. These are just pin headers. Okay, well, these were going to be used for my, um, the arcade PCB, actually, so I can unplug and plug in the Arduino uh, in case I ever want to update the software or whatever. So that is really weird. I've seen some weird packaging, um, <laughs> but this is kind of really weird it makes it looks like look like it's uh, really sensitive or can be easily damaged or whatnot and we have this package which is interesting um, looks like this is one of them someone opened because it looks like there should have been tape there ah this I'm going to save for another video you kind of get a hint of what this might be so we're gonna look at that in another video moving right along led stripe led okay and it's a little redundant okay so this is actually just some white led strips i, I apparently bought two i guess because they're really cheap 
And oh, these actually have the uh, waterproofing. I don't think I ordered the waterproofing. That would have been more expensive. I'm pretty sure I ordered the uh, just the bare PCB one. But apparently they sent me the uh, nicely waterproof. These are like silicone rubber, which is actually nice. I don't need them to be waterproof because these are going to go in the, the marquee, behind the marquee in the, um, the bar top arcade. And these are going to just white light, um, shine it through the back, and I'll put some diffusive material and the, the marquee image will go on the front there. And these will just light it up. So that is interesting. They sent me these waterproof ones. So kudos. I did not order the more expensive waterproof ones. I just ordered the cheapest ones I could get. But uh, they went above and beyond. So awesome. And next up is component cable. And I think I know what this is. This my dad has opened. Yep, it's one of these uh, component video cables that goes to, where's your end? Uh, uh, the PSP. So this will work with the PSP 2000 and 3000 to output uh, games and the screen. It mirrors it over component. I have a composite one. Uh, but I was tipped off that um, that little one of the uh, Pico projectors I modded that only works with iPhone actually uses component video. So I want to see if I can wire my PSP up to that and uh, get some portable projection gaming going. So this was pretty cheap. I, I believe this was only four or five bucks, something like that. So this guy is marked as others. <laughs> it says adapter. So I presume some sort of adapter. Ah, okay. Uh, this was maybe for the, the Raspberry Pi uh, in that arcade console. Um, I was debating whether to use HDMI or VGA uh, because my my video, the LCD video board actually will take either or. Um, I could just do HDMI straight up or uh, VGA if I ever wanted to plug it into like an external monitor or something. But anyway, another thing they uh, wanted to use this for, I got a little Android TV stick. And so if I wanted to plug that into a computer monitor, that would also work for that as well. So possibly doubly useful. Okay, next up is computer accessories. Um, don't know. <laughs> don't really know. Anyway, so let's just see. Okay, yeah, so this was uh, an auction I'd gotten for one of these MSATA to USB 3.0 drives uh, adapters because I have a spare card from my iPod SSD project. I bought a 32 gig and a 64 one, and the 64 one's in the iPod right now, and I have a spare 32. So I thought I might as well use it as an external USB hard drive. So we'll be doing another video on me assembling this and uh, doing a couple uh, test runs uh, because my laptop actually does have USB 3.0. It's the only computer that I have that does, unfortunately. So, anyway. Let's move on. And this is actually the last, last, last item. Just, you know, USB tracking. This isn't from China. I know exactly what this is. Oh, this actually is not the last. I forgot. Um, I lied. But this is awesome. Dun, 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 anyway, uh, this is a copy of Mega Man 2. Um, I want to start building my NES collection, and I don't have any Mega Man games, oddly enough, despite loving the franchise. So I thought I'd get possibly one of the best games in, in the NES uh, series, which is Mega Man 2. Um, closely followed, I would say, by Mega Man 3, which I probably will eventually be picking up. And yeah, comes with this aftermarket sleeve. It doesn't say Nintendo on it. I believe I do have a, a couple of them that do say Nintendo on them because Nintendo actually did ship these with sleeves, I believe. But anyway, label's in great condition. Um, yeah, looks legit. Um, we'll probably end up cleaning this and uh, testing this out in a later video. Okay, finally, one last pack package from uh, Rourke here. And... Uh, just don't want to give away any uh, mailing address information. So I'm ja actually just going to rip this open off camera. And I know exactly what this is, and you guys will be very excited to see. Oh, wow. Ah, yeah, he clued me in on this. This is really cool, actually. Ah, uh, he put poll number tabs. So one. I love his packaging, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> two. Three. It's easy as one, two, three. 
And so he sent me a few goodies. One of them is, um, so this is sort of a, uh, a gift. Um, he clued me in about, um, maybe about a month ago or so that he was, um, picking up some Game & Watches and, um, he had found this guy here for Senor Maxwell. And I'm going to take a look at that separately, but yeah, this is a little tiny Game & Watch. Um, this is awesome, man. Wow. I'm going to have to throw some batteries in here and maybe do a separate video of this. Um, just cleaning it off and you know getting the grime off but yeah this isn't in, in very bad condition um it's missing this side panel but the the panels that are still there are actually pretty decent um this is pretty cool this feels heftier than i thought it would have been wow uh oh it does have an aftermarket um battery cover uh doohickey there but yeah we're gonna have to find some uh lr44s which i should have kicking around somewhere and uh give this a little playthrough and so let's see okay yeah it looks like there's nothing uh, sensitive in this letter so he's just saying uh, hey Sean sorry but I don't have the time to open this game and watch don't worry about it half the fun of getting a new console is opening it up yourself and cleaning it so I'm I appreciate that he he left that honor up for me uh, yeah I hope you enjoy it nonetheless thank you Rourke um, Looking forward to version 10.0. He's talking about the uh, the digital RGB chip that um, I'm working on, actually. Um, we're only up to version 2.2, I believe. Uh, so, yeah, we're we're going to be working on version 10.0 soon. Thanks, Rourke. And he clued me in. He sent me a couple more things. Uh, so, here. So, we got one, two... If all mail could be this easy to open with numbered tabs. So he sent me a little bag of goodies uh, in preparation for the kit that we're putting together to sell through Deadpan Robot. So a couple of 2.2 or 22, sorry, 22 quarter watt uh, resistors, and these are for these guys. Come to those in a second. Uh, also some uh, 3904s, and these are for if you want to. Um, light up the LED buttons because the newest version of my chip can support not just controlling the backlight but also external LEDs that can be controlled via pressing and holding and these are the boards um, I designed and ordered uh, from China from some PCB manufacturing website and yeah you can see here it's a very simple board just one-sided load and a place for the resistor right in there uh, so you can actually, it doesn't come soldered with the resistor. You can pick out your own resistor value to change the, the brightness. And you can see here, um, this board will accept, um, within the kit, will actually pre-solder the, uh, the chip, pre-programmed, pre-tested everything. And all you got to do then is solder the backlight pins, which are the four wires, red, green, blue, and white. And um, you can use the touch sensor, actually, solder that in, and then VCC and ground to the chip. And you're good to go. If you want to use uh, button LEDs, actually bring that on onto a separate pad called external LEDs. So yeah, uh, sorry about the focus there, but yeah, you can see nice and shiny. Yeah, this is actually the first board that I got manufactured through that website, and it's actually pretty good. Um, I have to solder one up uh, using one of my. Uh, DMGs that I recently got, um, so I'll do an entire video of how to how to use this board as sort of a tutorial. Um, and if you guys are interested, I believe um, Deadpan Robot we just sent them a, a uh, sort of like a pre-order of uh, ten units. So he'll be putting up uh, some of those RGB backlight kits, which will consist of uh, the board, the chip that's pre-soldered, and you know the resistors and whatnot. And so. If you are interested in getting one of these to install on a uh, Game Boy, I've done videos showing how it works, but this is the actual uh, board. So if you are interested in that, you can head over to Deadpan Robot, and I believe he said he'd be putting up a experimental section soon um, and putting a few of these kits on there. So yeah, if you guys are interested, uh, that is that. So yeah, this is all just a massive pile of everything that I just opened. And I'd like to give special thanks to Rourke here uh, for for sending Senor Maxwell uh, some some beautiful goodies and uh, toys for me to clean and play with and uh, do some installs for you guys. And uh, yeah, anyway, um, 
I'd like to thank you guys for listening to me ramble on for half an hour, and I'll see you guys next time.